Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the temptation card. Uh, so somebody coming into your life. Uh, you have to make some kind of choice over there and you're too mi in two minds about it. Uh, it looks like it, it might be a new love because you've got that Ace of Cups over here and it speaks about love beginning. But the card below it immediately is the Devil card. So this person might be a bit manipulative and it's somebody that you may need to watch out for. There might be some secrets that they're keeping and that may need to come to light. Um, so just be careful. Uh, before you jump into any relationship. This might be something that makes you codependent and you don't want to start with something where you know, you're obsessed with this particular person uh, but they end up being very controlling. Now, in the past, you've got the solar plexus card um, which is talking about you trying to get your personal power back using your creativity, uh, you know, trying to show your authority in whatever the situation is you're, you're dealing with. You've got the fertility card over there, which is the Empress card. You can see that heart chakra being activated there. So, you know, you have been looking for love and you want a you know, good life and you really do want a lot of stability. Uh, the um, Empress card is ruled by Venus, so you are looking for love. Uh, and it looks like there's somebody that's in your sights, but there might be somebody that is not quite what you're looking for. There are secrets that will need to come to light about this particular person. You need to keep your emotions in check and in balance. So uh, be, um, you know, very careful on how you do things. Don't rush into things. Make sure that you're very, very balanced when you're dealing with things. So keep your feet on the ground when you're getting involved in this new relationship. Uh, because there is that card of deception and envy. So, you know, it could be somebody that um, may be pretending that they are one thing and turn out, it turns out that there's a, something completely different. You can see there's a mask in that particular card. So this person is making, uh, wearing a mask. Um, maybe they want something from you um, and, you know, they'll go through any, to any means to get it from you. So just be careful of whoever it is you're dealing with. Um, but the truth will come to light. Uh, but don't go in there without giving it some good thoughts. So don't rush into things. Now, those are the energies for the, those two, that week, rather. Just be careful. So I'm going to draw some cards from the kingdom within for the main read. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Swords. So there's something uh, that you're dealing with. It's making you feel pretty trapped. This is the card of being short-sighted. So not actually making plans for the future, but also not being able to see the future. Uh, very, very much stuck in whatever situation you are in. You could be dealing with some legal issues as well with those Swords cards. But you are feeling pretty much stuck pretty much out of control in this particular situation and you are feeling very manipulated as well so it seems like you know you are there's a blindfold on this woman's eyes so some truth needs to come to light before you start making any decisions but you are feeling pretty stuck in that situation you've got the judgment card in the two of cups so you are trying to make a brand new start and uh, maybe you're being given a second chance with a new relationship over here. So whatever you've had in the past, you know, ended up in, in pretty much a disaster here. Uh, you know, you came out of it, uh, you know, with a lot of lessons being learned. Uh, and it looks like a new relationship being about to present itself to you. So somebody is making an offer to you in the form of a relationship. This could be with true love. On the other hand, with all the warning cards that came out in the energy read, you know, this is a relationship that you have to really think about carefully before you decide to take a second chance and start a new relationship. Now, you've got a page of wands over here, so it looks like you have been, uh, you know, working pretty hard. You've been networking quite a bit. You might have been doing a little bit of, you know, travel recently with regards to your work. You are working on some kind of project at the moment. You've got the Prince of Cups over here, so it looks like there has been some kind of offer coming in for you there. 
uh, you know, very emotional offer, very romantic offer. Now, the Prince of Cups tends to be somebody who, you know, uh, says a lot of things, but they may not mean it. So just be aware that this particular person that is making this offer, or this new re relationship that you want to go into, may not be what it's uh, appearing to be. So appearances might be de deceptive there. You've got the Six of Wands, so you have gone through a lot of difficulties, and you're hoping that, uh, you know, a, a new change comes in, and that whatever you're dealing with is going to be victorious in that, re with that regard. So it's to do with work, uh, because and it's you know you want victory and you want recognition for whatever it is you have been doing. Now going into the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles over here. So this is about restriction with money. You've got Saturn there in Taurus and feeling very restricted, very uh, you know limited as far as finances go. Also feeling as though whatever you've been investing as far as your work goes has not been paying off well enough for you. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Temperance card over here. So your pathway is open, really, uh, to do whatever it is you want to, but you need to strike a balance between your work life, your emotional life. Um, you know, you, you want to make progress, but you need to uh, keep it together and stay grounded with that Temperance card. There might be also some travel coming up on the work front as well. The Hierophant card is saying that you do need to come and go and get some, uh, you know, practical advice with dealing with maybe finances or even when you're dealing with whatever new emotional situation comes in. So there is a need for you to go and get, uh, you know, good advice, sound advice uh, in order for you to, uh, you know, make progress. It looks like, you know, it, it's probably got to do with money over here because the hierophant is ruled by Taurus and you can see there's a lot of money s uh, symbols here. You've got all the pentacles in the background over there as well as that cash cow. Uh, so you do, and there's money, money will come in, uh, but you do need to go and get some practical advice about that. So what's in your hopes and fears? You do want victory after all the difficulties you've been through. Uh, you know, this is about boundless potential. It's about, you know, you, you are seeing um, the light at the end of the um, tunnel, really, at this particular moment. And you have gone through a lot. You've been victorious in most of these battles, but, you know, um, you, need, you want to be successful, completely successful in, in whatever outcome it is you're waiting for. So, uh, final outcome here would be the Ten of Cups, the World Card, and the King of Swords. So all the emotional problems and difficulties are about to end for you, and happiness is coming in. You've got Mars in um, Pisces. So you might be feeling at your lowest ebb right now, uh, feeling a bit uh, tired, uh, worn out after going through a lot of problems. So the Ten of Cups is about endings of difficult situations and finally, uh, like I said, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So this relationship might end up being something really that you wanted, or at the end of the day, you might even end up walking away from any kind of relationship that's going to be deceptive. But there's certainly a, a shift from, um, you know, going through problems and then start something new uh, coming in after this Ten of Cups. You've got the World card as well. This is an ending through difficult situations. It might be, uh, you know, um, ending a marriage or going through a divorce as well with that World card. And finally, things are, are sorted. All those problems are getting sorted and uh, it's all coming to an end. You have learned your lessons. You will start off again with a fool, starting something brand new after the World card. This is just uh, tying up the loose ends uh, within whatever relationship issues you have. The King of Swords is even, uh, you know, it might be that you are coming through a divorce situation. King of Swords signifies a judgment being made. And since you've got the world next to it, it's like a final decision being made and it's the end of all those difficult situations so it looks like if you have come through a very difficult or broken relationship it looks like the judgment is being made and you will move on after that all of that is now over and done with and you're just rounding up things at this particular moment uh, if a new relationship presents itself uh, you know think carefully before you invest your effort in it because it might end up not being what all that you wanted so instead of rushing into things take your time think it through clearly and then make a decision so I'm just going to draw some cards from the angel tarot and that's for the oracle read now you've got the hermit card which is your card over here which it says spend some time alone in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery so it looks like you're going to be on your own uh, soon uh, you know and maybe focusing a lot more on work with that hermit card um, you know thinking a lot a lot about things and you know maybe making new plans as well you've got the six of water over here so memories of your past or childhood 
uh, issues regarding children. Now, the Six of Water could be an uh, offer coming in as well. Maybe somebody you used to know from the past or even reacquainting yourself with old friends. That's certainly coming in for you there. And you've got the Knight of Air over here. So events that occur at great speed, take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So this is the message that's coming in. This could be legal issues being sorted out, uh, you know, putting an end to all those problems. Uh, you know, you could be victorious in this particular situation. He's carrying that Ace of Swords. So that, there's definitely some kind of legal news uh, coming in and a decision that is going to be made as well. And you will receive some kind of uh, judgment, uh, news about the judgment being made. So just be careful about whoever you get involved in and don't rush in without thinking about it or, uh, you know, looking into this person's background very carefully. Review that offer very carefully before you accept it. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.